What do you want to be? A passenger or a pilot? When you decided to participate in DAISY, did you want to be the pilot or the passenger? Let me explain what I mean in relation to the trading fund and the results to date. Everyone joined DAISY to go from where they are to where they want to be when it comes to the funds they contributed to the crowd fund. Let's use the analogy of flying from A to B. There are two ways to fly from A to B. Option one, you decide to be the pilot and you fly yourself. You have to learn how to fly and it's expensive. You start with a small plane like a Cessna and it takes time to be capable of flying a jet. You might end up in control of the flight sitting in the pilot's seat but it took a lot of money and time to get there. Option two, you buy a plane ticket and can fly immediately. You get to enjoy the trip. No stress learning to fly. It's a hell of a lot cheaper too. You trust the pilot as you know it's not going to be his first flight. You trust the plane because you know it's made the journey before. You trust the airline because they have successfully helped their paying passengers arrive at the destination many times successfully. I've seen a common thread of comments by people making commentary about Dr. Anna and Endotech, what they should be doing in terms of trading strategies, how the fund should be run and why her team got it wrong. Let me share some thoughts. You chose to be the passenger, not the pilot. You handed over your money knowing you were not going to be asked to give advice on the trading strategies. You knew you had no control of the funds and how they were managed. Reality is no one is going to ask you for your input on those things. Dr. Anna and her team of 60 plus AI scientists, researchers, quants and more are more than just a pilot. They are building a jet that's never been created before to get you from A to B in record time. While developing that super jet, they are operating more than 45 different types of planes or strategies to carry passengers in the interim. They're responsible for 150,000 plus passengers and getting them and their funds safely to the end destination. They are running an airline with lots of regulation and legalities to comply with. They understand that if they go bankrupt, blowing the fund with aggressive strategies, the airline collapses and no one gets to fly. If you want to be the pilot, then learn to trade, accept the costs, the risks, the losses, the stress and the time to become competent, knowing 95% of new traders lose money in their first year, a lot of money. Or you can be a passenger, sit back and don't worry about the pilot, the plane, the airline, the airline industry regulations and all the other stuff and just enjoy the journey knowing you will arrive at the destination. There may be some turbulence but that's part of the journey. Telling Dr. Anna and her team how to do their job, questioning things all the time and getting stressed is not going to get you to the end destination any faster and is a path to an unhappy flight. You chose to be a passenger. Whether you like the journey or not, you have no choice but to sit back and wait for the plane to arrive at the end destination. And remember, you have no trades to make, no charts to analyze, no stress, nothing to do but enjoy the end result. That is the benefit of being a passenger.